Hello children, welcome to amazing assignment. Uh, let's see today's amazing assignment is based on Ebony Black and the Seven Splendid Minds. Yeah, so the first question, choose the correct answer. So entire, uh, you know, the question paper, the assignment is based on uh, choose the correct answers. Four options are there, we have to choose. And the first question, choose the correct meaning of the word unison. Yes, so the word is uh, from the lesson. And uh, what is the meaning of that? Let us see all the four options, children. The first option is a reputation. Second option, at once. And the third one, competitor. And the fourth one is contest. But children, we know the meaning of unison. It is at once, all of a sudden. So let's write the answer to here. Now choose the correct word and fill in the blank. Mouldy locks entered the dash beauty contest. So we have to write the name of the beauty contest here. So what is the first one? Waterbury. Second one, Viscaville. Third one, West Covina. And fourth one, Washington. But our answer, all of us know because we read the lesson n number of times, that is Viscaville. Two. The next, choose a correct sentence from the following. Again, the four options given children. The queen is kind-hearted and she loves Ebony Black. The queen is very dangerous and she wants to get rid of Ebony. The queen is very dangerous but she doesn't want to get rid of Ebony. The queen is kind-hearted but she doesn't want to get rid of Ebony. So children, we all of us know what is the intention of the queen in the lesson. She doesn't want Ebony Black there. Isn't it? So the queen is very dangerous as well she doesn't want. So our correct sentence is number two. Yeah. Let's go for next question. Choose a part of speech of the underlined word. Let's read the sentence first of all. Sir Baldi Spot never been complimented on his beard before. Yeah, nobody complimented uh, him before. Like uh, your beard is uh, beautiful or good. Such a way he got compliment. What is the meaning of compliment here? Praised, isn't it? So let's see what is the part of speech complimented, whether it is adjective or noun or verb or adverb. Here complimented is action done by somebody. Somebody has praised him. So the word complimented is verb. Answer is option three. Now choose the correct meaning of the word tresses. Yeah, what are tresses? Long hair especially of a woman, long beard especially of a man, long hair especially of a man or long beard especially of a Mime. So children, we all of us know because this is the very uh, famous word of the lesson, dresses, long hair, especially of a women. So number one is your answer. So let's write here. Now the sixth question. Choose a suitable word to complete the sentence. Sir Baldi said that he would get in trouble if the queen came to know he dash her words. Okay, so what is that? Ordered, troubled or disobeyed or requested. So obviously the word disobeyed matches here. So option three. So if you write disobeyed here, let's read the sentence one second. Sir Baldi said that he would get in trouble if the queen came to know he disobeyed her words. Yeah, because he has to obey the words of queen. Okay, bye-bye. Now, the seventh one. Dash of the following is a valid adjective plus noun collocation. So, let's see uh, what is here adjective plus noun word matches for maker. A proper collocation. Gorgeous beard, save the head, very dangerous, no choice. Shave the head, what is shave here? Verb. So it will not match because it is adjective. Now very dangerous, very is adverb. So no, it will not match. So now coming to the first option matches over here. Gorgeous beard. How the beard was? Gorgeous. So the first one is your answer. Gorgeous is adjective and beard is noun. The next question, which question word do you use in the blank? Let's see what is the blank here. 
my mom said dash will you come to home my mom said dash will you come to home and question mark so who whom which when options are so how will ask about the time so when will you come to home okay so my mom said when will you come to home so she is asking about the duration or the time when will you come back to home isn't it so in this way we have completed this assignment children hope you got this and let's practice once again thank you